here, let's just start with Helen Keller's politics, where she was at, okay? Because people like to say that she was saved to use her homeschooling. Okay, I'm just going to burst the Helen Keller bubble today and just, and just kind of expose Helen Keller, who's dying. She died and she's burning in hell right now, Amen. okay? And, and I'm, I'm not saying that just to be me. I'm saying that because it's true, okay? Helen Keller and politics. I got this uh, from the Internet, but I looked at it several different sources, and they all say the same thing, okay? There is no getting around this. Here's from the article. But Helen Keller was a communist, or at the very least, a hardcore socialist. She, she supported the demand for workers' rights. She supported rights for women. She opposed U.S. entry into World War I. She also spoke out against nuclear bombs, poverty, and capitalism very actively and very frequently. She, she published dozens of articles on these matters and passionately spoke out in public against anything that bothered her morally, politically speaking, so much so that she was on the FBI list of prominent people they need to keep an eye on. Okay, that really, that last part doesn't really mean much to me, but the fact that she was a communist and a hardcore socialist lets me know right away. And look, it, it's, I, I haven't really seen a saved hardcore communist or socialist before. So here's Helen Keller and religion. Now, there, here's another state. Oh, oh, and by the way, Helen Keller helped start the ACLU. If anybody knows what that is, a wicked, you know, American communist lawyers, uh, whatever, how, whatever the acronym is for. But uh, Helen Keller's religion, here it is. There's no getting around this one either. Helen Keller was not a Christian in the traditional sense of the word. She was an ardent follower of the universalism of Emanuel Swedenborg, a mystic born in 1688. Now for the, I didn't have time to, to like list everything that this guy believed, but if you, if you write his name down and Google what he believed, he was like a cult leader, okay? So she followed a cult leader. It says he was a mystic, born in 1688. She read the Bible, so she did read the Bible, but accepted and denied its teachings as she saw fit. One of the doctrines that most revolted her was that of hell. In her book, My Religion, so she actually wrote a book about it, Helen says, I have been told by narrow people, she's talking about you, that all who were not Christians would be punished, and naturally my soul revolted, since I knew of wonderful men who had lived and died for truth as they saw it in the pagan lands. So she's saying that pagans were saved. She knows that they were saved. So isn't, isn't she saying that basically the same thing that you hear at every single door of someone that, that believes just like her? Oh, my God wouldn't make hell. My God wouldn't send people to hell. My God's all hearts and flowers and unicorns and rainbows. That's basically, yeah, mostly rainbows. But, uh, most, but if she doesn't believe in a literal hell, is she in heaven? No, no way. Because you have to be saved from something, right? You're, you get saved to escape the flames of hell. That's what I did. Some people get saved just because they believe on Christ, but I'll tell you what, I was already afraid of going to hell before I even got talked to about the gospel. So it says, Helen traveled abroad quite frequently and understandably made friends with people of all nationalities and creeds. She was a free thinker and based her religious beliefs on her own readings and experiences. So what? She was filled with her own ways, you know, but, you know, th but then the people that believe that you can be saved to the last minute will be like, oh, well, she probably had a deathbed confession. No, she didn't. She didn't believe in hell. She didn't believe the Bible. Where is she at today? And people hold her up like she's some great hero. And her whatever. People think that she was a lesbian. So, I mean, I did see that, too. I mean, I can't prove that. So I guess I won't state it as a fact, but people thought she was. That lady, her teacher, what is her name? Something Sullivan or something. I can't remember what her last name was. Anyway, that teacher was married, and the husband thought their relationship was so weird, he moved out. Okay, so that's kind of weird. I would think that that's, if it's weird enough where the, the husband's going to move out, there might be something weird going on there. Just, I don't know. I would think so. So what, is, what does the Bible say, though? Romans 10, verse 13. Let's look at it. Romans 10, verse 13. Don't go to sleep on me now. Romans 10, verse 13, the Bible says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? 
And how shall they preach except they be sent, as it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. Helen Keller has not obeyed the gospel, has she? For Isaiah saith, Lord, who hath believed our report, so then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. But there are some people that just won't believe it. They don't want to believe the Bible's true. And they just make up whatever they want to believe in. And I mean, she was following a quack cult leader. He was kind of like a Jehovah's Witness that, that predicted the doom of the world. Okay? If I had more time, I'd probably just preach a whole sermon about it, but I'm not going to do that. Okay? But people that believe, that they ask these dumb questions because they believe something stupid about the Bible. And what do they believe? That you can be saved by reading it. You can be saved by just li someone listening to the Bible. You can't just get saved by listening to it. Unless it's somebody that's preaching it so that you can be saved, okay?